everyone, to another episode of Primitive Era. Today, we're going to be going over Sun's Blessing and how you can use it to your best advantage. This spreadsheet that you're going to be seeing throughout the video is by Kav Kaival. It's designed by Kaival. I don't know if I said that name correctly, but he's one of the members in the official Discord. And he made a bunch of these spreadsheets for your information and use. So be sure to give him props, say thanks, and with that, let's get started. So what is the sun's blessing? It is a building that gives boost to the buildings around it, all right? So I'm just going to tap this right quick, and currently you can see that all these buildings have a smiley face, all right? Now, as you can see on the chart, Weapon stands can increase capacity by 10. Witch Doctor increases injured warriors. Drill grounds, promotion 50. All right. Clan Castle reduces health by five seconds. Okay. So all these different, uh, you know, uses, you know, depending on what building you put in there. All right. Now, as you can see, I've set it up so all these big buildings can surround it to get more buildings used by the sun's blessing and i made a little bit of a mistake as you can see this whole right side of the field is not being utilized and even though all my buildings are attached to it they still have room for little buildings like the witch doctor huts and the weapon racks have room in there for the small small buildings, so i can get those boost as well so we're going to fix this up and we're going to change it around, okay? So, I'm going to hide all, all right? And let's get this show on the road. So, go away. First, let's get rid of some regular buildings. So, we're going to go down to here, the well. Just knock these out. And then we're going to go to the iron mine and knock those out. And then we're going to go to the gold mine and knock these out. Boop, boop. Okay? Then we're going to go up here and let's find us uh, this thing right here. It's going to slap you there. Uh, not this one. We want this one. I'm going to slap you here. And uh, iron, a quarry mine for stone and blimey. What else can we? We got a wood. So we're going to put the wood over here. There we go. And so the next one we need is food. Wow, 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 wee, wow. So I have too many things. You know what? Screw it. I'm just going to put you here, and I'm not going to deal with this until later. All right? So let's go use our sun mines. All right? So here we've got one, and I need some space all around it. Now, you can use this and, like, put it up here and get boosts for all these buildings. All right, you could put it down here to get stone or gold, what have you. All right, but I'm not too worried about resources. What I'm interested in more is about making my account more combat ready. So that looks about good right there. So I'm going to come up to the top here, whoop, back to yours, get my main clan. All right, so I'm going to stick you right there. One tile is all I need. And then I'm going to put on, let's see, we'll use this one. Here's a troop training. I can slap you right there. And then we're going to go to, let's see, I want another troop training. Here's another one. Okay, and then we're going to add another troop training. Where can it be? Is it this one? No, 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 no. Keep finding, keep looking, keep looking. Oh, blimey. So many buildings. Here. There it is. Okay. So how can I stick this in here? Can't do that. I need to come up here. All right. So that's going to be it. Now, I know there's some smaller buildings. So I'm actually going to take this bad boy and put him right on the corner because I know I could stick a smaller building like this one right up in here and get the boost. Now, this is my fortress. As you can see on the list, the fortress increases defense attack. 
okay? Having all my troop buildings, oops, let's come up in here. Those are going to increase each individual troop's attack, okay? And then we're going to put, um, let's see, we could, we could put, uh, let's see, the next one we're going to put, we're not going to do you, we're going to go, let's see, where's another good building we want, here we go. This one is the home of heroes, all right? And the home, the hero's lodge is hero experience obtained, okay? We have enough room to hit that corner with the Braveheart Guild, all right? And the Braveheart Guild is hero experience obtained as well. So we'll just slap that up in there. Okay, so the next thing we want, what do we got here? The Victory Cave, Elite Q Attack. Let's boost that. We got our, what do you call this, our drill grounds, and this will increase our what? Promotion capacity plus 50, all right? And then we're gonna keep coming down. Let's find another building. Ah, here we go. The assembly hall, all right? Assembly hall will increase rally attack. All right, so let's boost that. We have a little bit more room. Let's put the clan castle, all right? And this, where are you, clan castle? We'll reduce time help. And we have room for one more. What are we gonna do? We're gonna put in our fortune teller's dome, which will increase research speed, okay? So now all these buildings are boosted. And now let's do some, some uh, huts for witch doctor. Okay, fill this up and we can make it a little bit more pretty. All right, there is room, so we could just come down here, come down there, bring this here. So in case we want to add more, okay, I need to go down one more, one more. Here we go. Still not enough, huh? Did this not move? Oh, it's the corner. Okay, so that's all I can do because of that corner. Meh. Okay, I'm gonna pull you down, how about that? Oh, I can only go up to here. And then over here, let's see, what can I, can I slip you in? Yes, I can. All right, so there's one. Every building is boosted for military support. Beautiful. All right, now I need to go and do another one. Let's find another, what you call it? Uh, sun, sunstone, here we go. Make sure you have room around all the corners to surround it by buildings. Here's a nice location. I think I have enough room here. This looks acceptable. Okay, so let's scroll up to the top. And the next set that we're going to do, let's see, we pretty much managed all of this. Elite territory, that's gonna be hunting speed march. Okay, so we could put elite territory. Let's see, I think I pretty much got everything. What I do still need to do is my, um, what do you call it? Oh, what are they called? The, the weapon stand so I can increase my training capacity. So let's go, we're gonna add, uh, what is this? Oops, come down here. We have a hero's lodge, put it right on the corner. Oh, here we go. We want a uh, arch tower, all right? The arch tower increases defense when defending your clan village, okay? So slap that in there. And then we want the sentinel camp. The sentinel camp also increases the march speed so it goes a little quicker. I don't mind that. Okay, so I'm running out of military. So the next thing I might want to do is uh, my monsters, okay? Or my monsters, my beasts, all right? So let's go find some beasts. Oh, you know what? Colossus. We need to put the Colossus in there, I believe. Let me see. I don't see it on the list here. Maybe no Colossus just yet. But we are going to put in our hatcheries. So where is my hatcheries? Here we go. Here's uh, for, actually I could stick that inside because it's small. 
I could put these in here. All right, maybe I'll put one up here. There we go. And then we're gonna put our hatcheries so they hatch a little faster. Oops, do I not have enough room? I gotta move this guy. All right, so when you put the divine incubator, the hatching speed increases, which is nice. All right, so we're gonna put two of those right here. We still got room on our corner. All right, we got a beast pen. All right, the beast pen, well, what does the beast pen do? Doesn't say anything, oh, there it is, hatching speed increase, all right? So let's increase that more as well. We could stick that right there on the corner. Next, let's see, what do we have? We're running out, so we're going to put, let's see. So these guys, the statues, they don't do anything, okay? Now, where is Colossus? Here's Colossus. Colossus does get a boost, and I'm assuming that is going to be for the research, uh, research the construction. So I am going to put him there. Let's fill in some uh, weapon stands, okay? However many I can put in here. I'm going to move you down and move you here, and then weapon stand all up here. And then another one. There we go. And can I squeeze in one more here? Yes, I can. Okay, and let's put in another one. And I will slip you right about there. And then I'll put in another one right about here. Now in doing so, I might have trouble with the corner piece, but that's okay. I'm gonna put another weapon stand right here on the corner, increase. Okay, and then put another one here, very good. All right, next we have Elite's Territory. All right, now the Elite Territory, where did it go? It will be hunting march speed, all right? So this will increase my hunting march speed for monsters. All right, and then we have, what is this, the Lucky Garden? I am not putting a Lucky Garden, it doesn't get a boost. Okay, we have our Builder's Hut, they don't get a boost. No construction boost there. All right, we can do our merchant and that'll give us reduce five minutes between merchants. We have our elite territory or military marquee one, okay? And it doesn't say on the list, but if elite territory, uh, which is this one right here, is it elite territory hunting march speed, I'm betting the military marquee march will increase the march speed for your troops. So, not confirmed yet, but I will look into it, so don't, don't worry, but we're gonna add another one. Where can I find it? Boom, here it is, okay? Now, yes, it's starting to look a little screwy because everything is everywhere, but what I'm doing is I'm trying to maximize each building that can get a boost, all right? So, all these buildings are getting all their boosts, all right? I still have one more. Let's see if we come up here, the, the stone yard, the, the logging shed, the lumber yard. Okay, so all of these can get boosts. So let's go ahead and put another, where'd you go? Sun exploration or uh, sun boost. Where are you? Here we go, boom. Okay, so we're just gonna, gotta find a place where there's enough room. I think if I go over here, kinda like this, you can see they all get a little something, but I lose this corner, so I need to move you about here. And let's see if I come down here, come down here, come over here. I want just one tip, okay? Yes, there you go. So you're gonna come here, and I'm gonna push you over here. There we go, a little bit more. We can go a little bit more. I'm gonna do a food grain. Okay, there's food. There's a water boost. Okay, I'm gonna put you up here. Whoop. Yep, you're boosted, okay. Uh, let's see, I need another storage. Where's another storage? I know I have enough. Uh, let's see, there is the, where'd it go? It's right here. The, the campground, the bonfire. This will reduce upkeep. Uh, no, sorry, the Bonfire Plaza uh, wood output, okay? 
mm, we'll save you. Because I want more storage. Because right now, storage is getting big. After level 18, you're going to need at least 30 million resources. So storage is going to be key. You're going to be upgrading these bad boys. Yes, you will. So let's just keep putting more boosts. Okay, so we got another one. Come here. And all these, as you can see on the list, the, the logging shed, the wood lumber yard, the charcoal depot, the stone yard, the uh, hunter shelter, um, they're all outputs for resources. So each time I do this, I increase the output of all my resources for X, what it, what it is, okay? So let's say I got two wood, two leather, two, I, I need one more charcoal, one more charcoal. Where's that charcoal? Find it. Uh, here it is. And I hate that it keeps moving over there. It's really a pain in the butt. But anyways, you slap this right there. We got room for a water. There we go. I think that is all my resources situated, okay? Oh, look at this one. He's way too far in. I could pull you back. There we go. Oops. Don't forget about that. Okay, and you, I'll just put you here. I'll, I just won't move you. You're fine, okay? So now we got these guys. These are my little statues. I'm just going to leave them for now. So now we have a few extra few deals, all right? So let's just put in our basic resources. What do we have here? Okay, they don't need to be boosted because we're boosting them all with the boost output. So let's get, uh, where are you? Here's a charcoal. And another charcoal. And another charcoal. And get these done. And then I'll let you know, uh, we'll come back when I put all these resources out. I'll be right back. Boop. Okay, we're back. So here we have whoa, all our resources in a nice little spot. We have this bit right here. Can we fit something more in there? I kind of want to put more um, my march cues. Let's see. I think I have. So uh, here we go with one. Oh, damn. Listen, got to go all the way up here. Will it fit? Do I have room? Nope. Okay, so we're just going to leave her out because there is only three. I assume there will be four coming later on when I unlock more. But until then, I only got, um, what do you call it, three, which is a bummer, but it is what it is, no big deal. So I'm just going to slap these big buildings in a nice little spot like this. There we go. Keep them even. Ah, blimey. There we go. And just keep putting them in dead center because don't care. There we go. And dun dun dun. Nope, I'm going to save. Well, no, maybe not. Here we go. Charcoal building. And then we got to do this building. And then how about this guy? And then this guy for my military boosts. Slap you there. Okay, so put this guy. Oh, blimey. Where'd you go? Here we go. Slap it over here. There we go. That's the lucky garden. Doesn't really do much except for decorations. Don't worry. All right, so now we got a couple oddball resources. Okay, so we're just going to put them in. So we have the, whatever this is, the charcoal 2000. Okay, you'll get that for opening a certain pack, I believe. Can't remember. Uh, let's go ahead and do our uh, construction buildings. Stack you up right there in a row, please. Make it nice and simple. And what do I need? I need one more here. Wrong way. <clears throat> I want to go down there. Okay, and then we're going to do our huts right next to it because that's the way I like it. Makes it easy. There we go. You know, this is too close. I want more space, so I'm going to put you over here. And then a hut. Hut, hut, hut. Perfect. Now I got my boost buildings from the decorations. You could pay $4.99, something like that, for the pack, and you can get these 
boost decorations that increase your military recovery, your, your construction, your attack. They, they do all sorts of things. So definitely look into this, okay, the plants. The trees don't do jack, but these little ugly weird cactus plants and these weird little things, these three plants each add uh, an extra set of uh, recovery, all right? So there you have it. It's not pretty, it's not super organized, but it's the most efficient way to boost all the buildings that need to be boosted. So every single military aspect, beast training is boosted. All my yards are boosted, so that means each of my resource output is boosted times two. Okay? So that is pretty much it for this video. It's a long one. I try to shorten it up for you, and uh, I'll catch you guys later on the next video. All right? Peace out. Bye.